What is up guys, welcome to another video, the Geeky Guy here and today we will be playing against Bravo. So this is game 1, I'm gonna be going against Bravo. So against Bravo, you wanna put in some defense reaction, cut down a bit on the um, cards like Razor Reflex, put in maybe 1 CNC in case we got Spinal Crush. And that's pretty much it. I guess we can leave Double Strike in because that actually forces them to use up their armor if they want. So let's get right to it. So uh, first things first that I notice, we do have a flick flag in hand, which is excellent. So we could go for a Kodachi Kodachi just to reduce their life for a bit, right? So that's what we want. So only start off with a zero cost, else your Kodachi is not gonna have go again. So interestingly, he's running all the budget version. Um, so let's see how this deck fails against that i guess he might be a newer player maybe quite new to browse so uh, especially either that or he's testing out a budget build right so he blocked both kodachis that's fine so he did I blocked it with a cartilage crush so we're gonna pass we're gonna save up the leg tap and then we're gonna arsenal the uh, flip flag so there's a few ways we can do this uh, we can either go for be like water um, in case that hits we can actually um, pitch to choose for one of the options which is surging strike since this deck doesn't really play other other lines such as um, the Tweet Twisters or the Head Jab line. So that would be an obvious choice. But let's see what he plays here. If it's a size... Uh, no, he doesn't play uh, Tectonic. So I can't really know what he's going to play here. So he's going to play Blessing here. Right, he's gonna play blessing. He's gonna draw a card because he did pitch card with cost three or more. So he's still choosing an action here. That's fine. It's a bit for a bit. Just wanna say the new Talisha UI looks really really good. Right, so it says it when it deals four or more damage so four or more damage so we can either uh, use a card to block and then go into reactions but you you might want to save a flick flex or any defense reaction you have for something more important so he's gonna have an arsenal next turn and our hand is fine it's not great so what i'm going to do here is Breaking skills and then pass. Wait, hold on. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it was supposed to be breaking skills and one of the three blocks. So that's what we're gonna do. Right. So sorry about that. Breaking skills and a pass. So we're gonna save our flick flag for something more important. Especially cards like Spinal Crush and stuff. So we're gonna go for... I guess we could go for Kodachi Kodachi into... I guess we can start out with a leg tab and then see how it goes. So if he blocks this, we're gonna go into Kodachi Kodachi Be Like Water. If he doesn't block this, of course the obvious choice is to discard Be Like Water, get a rising knee. What I usually try to do is to spread out the threats of Katsu. So Katsu's threats uh, usually come in two ways. One, it's the uh, Katsu trigger 
another one would be the mass draw so usually i don't stack both of the effects on top of each other i usually try to spread it out uh, maybe an, uh, one of the attacks is gonna trigger katsu the other attack is gonna trigger the mask so it's gonna go for the sink below so that's fine it's not a huge deal <coughs> I can see that he might be he might be a bit new to the game. Uh, judging from the equipments and stuff. Yeah, so he's blocking with one of the red pummels. So that's interesting. So I don't really want to keep be like water in my hand. gonna play that out gonna play it out so there's no reactions from him because we just want to push some damage right so we do have a descendant gust wave and few other cards but nothing really great here it's an okay hand at best so let's see what he does so you can go for kodachi kodachi design then gust wave but i usually like what i said i don't really stack the threats so we could go for a Could go for this. So one thing to note, Descending Gust Wave, I believe, is a combo card, so you can actually use breaking scales in order to gain the plus one. So obviously he's gonna block that, so that's fine, we're gonna let him. We're gonna go for the Kodachi Kodachi here. Gonna block with the helm of Aizen's Peak. I forgot about that. So we can either play out the Whelming and yeah, let's play out the Mugenshi. So it's not really great. It's not good to actually do this because this deck only runs one Mugenshi now. I can't run the Lord of Wind line because of this, but that's fine. Um, it's okay, I guess, for this kind of casual game, but if it's up to me, I would have kept the Mugenshi and go for a much safer play. Because this guy seems to be quite defensive, so we want to save up our threats. Right, so we do have some tools here. You can actually feel free to use the flick flag now if you want. So it's gonna go for a dominated attack. That's fine. It's gonna play disable. Oh, he's pitching disable and he's going for a crippling crush. So crippling crush is coming for 11. So there's a twitch two choice for me here. I could go for a a um, 
tree block into a breeze rider boots or i could be a bit more greedier and um, actually go for a double flick flag let's do the double flick flag just because i feel like it so let's see there we go So double flip flag. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna take three. So now we have a leg tap and a fluster face. So we're gonna use tunic. I'm gonna go for a leg tap. I'm gonna go for a leg tap if he doesn't block this. The obvious choice is to discard Fluster Fist, get the Rising Knee, and then Arsenal of the Razor Reflex, and go for a bigger turn. So currently, just because it's not running Tectonic, we, are, we do have a slight upper hand here due to the armor count. But even if he's... Yeah, we're gonna use Katsu's ability here. Gonna go ahead and look for a rising knee. Gonna play a rising knee. Rising knee is gonna come for five. So we're gonna see whether he wants to block this. So if he allows this to hit, it's gonna go down to 25. We're gonna have a razor reflex in our arsenal. Right, so we're gonna pass, we're gonna put this in our arsenal, and I guess we have a. I wouldn't say a great hand, but it's fine, I guess. We could go for. Go for a. We could play out surging and then pitch developing, discard double strike to get a proper whelming, which is the red one. Uh, so it's Stonewall Confidence, cards you control. Right? Defending. So that's interesting. So Anathos is coming for six. Um, I could block for three, take three, and then actually Arsenal the surging because he's gonna. Since he has a stone wall in his in the field, um, it's useless for me to play surging because it could just block with uh, just block with one card. So I'm gonna go for uh, a more uh, a smaller attacks, a wider attack. So he, he just to just to not give him the incentive to start blocking with cards All right so he could simply just use his armor for this but let's see let's see what he does so the plan is to go kodachi kodachi um, double strike double strike Let's see if he blocks this because this is of course gonna gonna trigger the mask. Right, so he's just gonna pass. So let's see what we draw into. No, I guess he has a really good hand. Um, we're gonna, not gonna cut the trigger. I just go for a double strike, and then we're gonna go for a razor reflex. Gonna go for an AE. Right. 
So the good news here that we we can what we have here is basically we drew into a sync below with the ancestral. So sync below obviously is gonna go into my arsenal. Just a sort just as a sort of insurance against the upcoming assault. Obviously, so it's gonna go. Usually when Bravo keep their hand, it's gonna be some uh, huge dominated attacks. So it's going for a disable. So disable can be easily blocked um, with one of the surging strikes and also a sink below. So I'm thinking whether it's, I guess, we, so disable reads that I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna just let you guys take a look. If it deals four or more damage, we're gonna put a card from the arsenal um, into the bottom of the deck but that don't really concern me because I can just you know play out the thing below so because I was expecting some kind of spinal crush and stuff but I guess disable is fine Yeah, gonna go for a sing below. We're gonna keep the other defense reaction just for the future turns. Um, yeah, we're gonna do here is go into red surging into whelming. So if he blocks the surging, it's can it be bad for him a bit, I guess, because I'm gonna be play me, playing the blue whelming anyways. Oh. I guess another way I could play this is look for a descendant gust wave, but the only reason you really wanna play descendant gust wave if you have um, the other bonds, uh, the other card which is bonds of ancestry in your hand. Gonna trigger that. Yeah, I'm gonna use Katsu's ability. We're gonna discard the blue whelming. Gonna go ahead and look for a red one. So we're gonna play it out. So this is most likely something that he would like to block. So once again, he's he's trying to keep his hand. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the best way to play this matchup. Usually, you wanna go for more of a tempo gameplay and. I seem to be a, to have some kind of luck drawing into those defense reaction, but obviously I do play six, and I did actually arsenal those defense reaction, um, anticipating his attacks, even though they are not that. So I'm gonna go for the breaking skills here. If he does have some sort of uh, so, um, I'm gonna try pushing him below 10, so that's where the Kodachi values really kicks in, All right? So, we're gonna push this to the bottom, I'm gonna add this to the arsenal, All right? So, once again, not a great hand, I guess. I mean, it's fine. Right, so we don't really have a dishonor in our discard, so that's another issue. Right, it's gonna go for another crippling crush. So the obvious choice here is to um, breeze rider boots, a tree block, and a flick flat. So breeze rider boots, a bonds, and we're gonna pass. And then obviously it doesn't have any reactions. So for this all right so we do have a red surging i'm gonna ask no this surging instead go for an e strike for i'm gonna go e strike for seven here right so i'm gonna go for e strike for seven
defense here. He's right for seven. He the best thing he can do now is block some of this damage. If he's gonna take all seven, it's not gonna be great for him. Right? Just as a side note, the reason I play E Strike in the deck is because of Azilius. Um, so the 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 choice there are two choices for me is either to play um, E Strike or Snatch. Both actually has um, excellent value. The reason I took E Strike over Snatch is just because E Strike blocks for three. But um, the obvious uh, advantage Snatch over has over E Strike is that it doesn't require. Yeah, it doesn't require any additional cost to play, right? So you can you can just play out Snatch just like that. You can just you can just block whatever Azilia's attack and then gonna go for just a single Snatch. But the uh, issue here is most of Azilia's huge arrow comes in a form of dominated attacks. So you don't really have the chance to block with multiple cards. So I guess it's fine to... Um, so we're gonna go for a disrounds on me. We're gonna both draw into a card, but, but Kodachi would be useless. And my surging is gonna come for four. So let's see. Oh, he he undid his last action, so he might be thinking. Yeah, even so, he's going for a dominated attack, right? So let's see. Let's see what kind of attack it is. And then um, if it's something that's gonna stop me from playing multiple attacks because I really want to keep the pressure on, I'm gonna throw away my mask. Right, but it's only coming for... Oh, it's coming for 8. So if it's gonna deal 4 or more damage, then our first attack is gonna be minus 2. So... Um, I'm thinking to whether... I'm thinking whether we still require the tunic. I'm okay to actually the first attack, right? So I could just take eight um, and just just go for a game. I'm just gonna try taking eight here. It's fine, really, because you can just go for Kodachi for zero because it says first attack doesn't specify yet. Um, attack action and we do have a tuning resource so that's that's really fine actually all right so we're gonna pitch So Kadachi is going to come for negative 1. Imagine doing a negative 1 attack and your opponent heals the damage instead. That would be funny. The Surging is going to come for 5. So we basically spend 1 extra resource just to... Just to pay off the debilitates um, effect. Right, so he allowed my surging to hit. We're gonna go for Katsu's ability. We're gonna discard this thing below. We don't really need that. We're gonna go for whelming. We're gonna go for a whelming here. So obviously he has to block this because this is lethal. If he did run a tectonic and maybe a different kind of headpiece would be a bit different all 
right so he's taking this kodachi it's gonna go down to two just gonna play out the fluster fist all right we're gonna go for the reaction here Yep, I guess that's pretty much it. I don't think he has any reaction. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And let's go to the main menu. Let's see if we can play another game. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for our opponent for a bit. I'm sure there are someone looking for a game too. Right, so we're going against Phi. So for Phi, we're gonna run a hardened cross trap, gonna leave in Breeze Rider, gonna play some CNCs. I'm gonna take out one of the Razor Reflex. Um, this Razor Reflex is really fine. I think it's just too many. We're gonna keep at gonna clip our deck count close to all right so we do have a surging we're gonna go kodachi kodachi huh. right so let's see so it's running blazon yoroi um for the extra boost of armor but let's see let's see how this goes so far is a really interesting matchup so this is a good match to um, actually understand the aggro matchup so it's gonna block for six here So it does have a bunch of two blocks. I'm thinking to whether Arsenal the be like water or discard it and then just push a bunch of damage. No. So we're gonna go and look for I guess spawns is fine. Yeah, we can't really draw from the mask. Right, so we did manage to push some damage. Just because we got lucky and drew into some natural. So this is a decent hand. Just going for a in flame. That's fine. So one thing to keep in mind that he is running the mask of momentum. So this is coming for two. So that's a bit annoying to block. Um but we're gonna let this hit and just just to see how this goes because um, the second in flame actually triggered the shuko so phoenix is gonna come for one so that's fine that is honestly fine so usually what uh, is the choice between actually blocking with skills or Breeze Rider. So it's it really up to you, I guess, how you want to go about it. So let's see how this goes. So we have a few choices here. We can actually E strike into Cross Trap. 
E Strike 5 go again, Kodachi into CNC. So even if we do trigger even if we do trigger um, katsu here don't really have anything to look for i'm gonna try to keep my chain link um below four it's gonna want to block this cnc because if it doesn't block this i'm gonna get a arsenal card and he's gonna lost his arsenal all oh, right he doesn't really care about his arsenal then and we do draw into a double strike so that's pretty solid i'm gonna arsenal this double strike and then gear up for the next turn yeah. so this is a decent hand actually so with double strike if you are able to keep your hand so you're gonna go for rise of the ashes so if you're able to keep your hand, um, I would suggest using double strike as a means to threaten the master, right? So that's the way you want to go about it. So usually Kodachi Kodachi into a double strike. So Phoenix Flame is going to come for one, right? So that's great. Yeah, because he didn't play any base one, base two or less previously. All right, so that's fine. All right, so that's great. Um, now I kind of miss tuning. <laughs> So I was expecting that I could pop into the cross tribe or something. Right, so it's going to block uh, the second Kodachi. So let's see. So Yoro is going to be super useful for him. So we're going to, what we're going to do here is use Katsu's ability, discard this honor, draw into a Winds of Eternity, go all for a second double strike. Pass this. Go into a hundred wins. So hundred wins. It's gonna depend on how he block this. If he's gonna block with a single blaze and Yoroi, what I'm gonna do is scales into AE. It's gonna push one damage over. Right, also oh, this is blocking for five. I forgot about that. But that's not great. I could go for a could instead go for it wins into a so that would be interesting so I do have one resource floating popping the breeze rider would be one of the options here so let's see if he chooses to block this so let's go for a reaction right Right, so we did manage to push him down to 10. And we draw into a great hand. Right. So even if I were to use one of um, the cards to block, we still have hard and cross trap to play about.
Right. So this is brands for one. Whew. Okay, this is tough. Just let's say I'm gonna, gonna be greedy and just uh, refuse to block this. It's gonna really depends on what's gonna play next. Phoenix Film for two. Gonna block with Mask of Momentum. Guess we don't really need it to actually threaten him. Now we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna go for a classic. Let me think for a bit for this one. How do we maximize our threat? Either go for a Mugenshi play. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a safer Mugenshi play. We're gonna go for a surging into a red whelming. If he doesn't block any of it, we're gonna basically just discard about 100 wins into Mugenshi. So another line of play I was thinking about is um, maybe this, maybe just pop cross trap um, to play surging. Um, if he hits, gonna look for a. Gonna basically go look for a winds of eternity. So Wyoming is gonna come for four. So depending on how you want to block this. So we're gonna pass. No, Mogenshi. So Mogenshi is gonna come for five. It's gonna block for six, obviously. Add this to the arsenal and we have a decent hand so that interest that's that's really interesting he ended up just passing the turn to me right he just conceded so that's fine so that's pretty much it guys that's two gameplays i hope i can squeeze in more but maybe in a future video thank you very much for watching guys do like and subscribe i hope you guys actually learn a few things about katsu in this video and see you guys in the next one bye